I'm biracial and I'm proud I'm biracial and I proclaim it loud I'm biracial, no hate can keep me down No matter what my haters say I proudly rep both of my races today I'm biracial and I'm proud I'm biracial and I proclaim it loud I'm biracial and no hate can Salam alaikum YouTube, what's cracking? It's your angry biracial back with another video. Y'all know how I do. I gotta keep my foot on the necks of these modern males 24-7. As usual, I got another good show for y'all today. So sit back, relax, grab your favorite drink, a bag of popcorn, and let's dive right in. One second before we dive in, the first clip is a skit. It's a skit based off of reality. Just wanted to clear that up before everyone jumps in my comment section saying, it's a skit, it's a skit, it's fake. I am aware of that. But the vast majority of these skits are based off real life situations. Okay, so I got you on camera. Please say it one more time because ain't nobody gonna believe this. Why can't I get my house? Why can't I get my house? Like, but, but what I'm reading here is that in 2000, that there was a eviction. In 2000, ma'am, I was born in 98. That would have made me two years old. So how do I have an eviction when I was two? Lord. I do understand that um, there are just several factors that we look at here and that with the eviction and then there's a repo in 2008. I'm not uh, sure. Ma'am, I would have been 10 years old. Oh wait, so, so me, me and my girlfriend trying to get a house so I can move out of my mama house. So, so I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to see. So mama, please explain to me. Please explain. First and foremost, first and foremost, calm your voice down while we in this room here. But mama, now, please explain to me how I got an eviction. How, how, do I have, how do I have an eviction when I was two? I don't think you understand, ma'am, and why you over here trying to judge me and everything like that, reading off everything. You don't know what happened to us. Okay? But, but ma'am, you, you supposed to be helping me co-sign, and I find out I can't even get a house because of you. You Social and use it for your benefit. She must not be from here. Fraud. 
Y'all, what's up? So it's me from the video. Y'all, let's get into it. So y'all saw that I recently just found out that I'm not going to be able to get a house because when I was two, um, ten at the ages, my mom was putting out different things at different times. So she was going to be my guarantor co-signer for this house because she was complaining that me and my girlfriend need to get it out of her house, right? I'm like, okay, bet. So we get up there. Lady tell me all type of stuff. And instead of my mama apologizing, instead of my mama even offering to help, y'all, the first thing she goes to is, I don't know what she went through. Um, All this was for, for, was for me because my football uniforms, all type of stuff, right? And I'm just like, what? So basically, I had a, a one, only one option, really, was to um file fry to get everything wiped off my credit history. So I asked my mom, I said, are you going to help me pay any of the talk? She said, no, because I'm still, I, you, you've been staring with me for two years, so you owe me, because I have been staying with her for two years to save up for a house. So y'all, I, I fire fried on it. Out of my mama. Y'all let me know if I was wrong. Again, this was a skit. We all know that brother in there don't got a girlfriend. Come on now. As zesty as that man is, he ain't got a girlfriend, man. <laughs> all jokes aside, I'm a little bit torn on this one part of me is saying that he is wrong for his mother to use his credit but then again i don't know what a single mother goes through i don't know what it is to be abandoned by the father of your kids and you essentially being a kid yourself trying to survive and make a way and raise your children on your own i don't know that struggle so the other part of me is saying we can't really blame the mother. You lived a good life. You didn't want for anything. And your mother had to make moves to make that happen. It's unfortunate she used your credit. But I understand her doing what she needed to do to raise you properly. To make sure you can play the sports you wanted to play. So you can have food on your table. New clothes on your back. So she can get a vehicle so she can work. Single mothers go through a lot, and it's crazy how no one has smoke for the fathers that abandoned your mother and you. They never want to think that if their father hadn't abandoned them, that your mother wouldn't have struggled the way she did, and thus used your credit to make ends meet. It's always the parent that is there, that is struggling, that is breaking their back to take care of you, that they blame. Another thing that bothered me, you don't raise your voice to your mother. She gave you life. She raised you. She sacrificed everything. Her hopes, her dreams, her body, her mental health, her life to make sure that you went without. You don't raise your voice to her. She can be dead wrong, but you don't raise your voice to her. You respect her always. My sons know better. They know one thing that I will never tolerate is disrespect of their mother. My daughters know that as well. I've only had to check my daughters on this, but I sat them all down and let them know that not only is that your mother, but that's my wife. And you don't ever disrespect her. If you do, you will contend with me. It bothered me the way he was talking to his mother. Lastly, she is still taking care of you. For the past two years, you and your so-called girlfriend <laughs> and the child y'all supposedly had together <laughs> have been living off of her in her house for the past two years. So she's still providing for you, taking care of you, nurturing you, and you file fraud against your mother. But this is not the end of this saga. There's more. It's like the way you did my nephew is dirt. T, it's real dirty. The boy can't get nothing in his name. Oh, and, and you're going to. But you're going to. You know why? I don't care if it's your house. You know, I don't pay about my nephew. You know that. You know that. How you gonna talk to me about my son? I'm gonna tell you. You know how? Because I gotta take care of him now because you screw him up. He can't get no house. He can't get no car. You know, all of that. It's not about the first. It's not about the first song. And what was the problem with that? But who ruined their child's future? Not me. Not me. So let's really be real about that. Yeah, you. I don't know why you over here. You know how I get. Yeah. But it's not gonna go down. Because that's my nephew. He's not wrong. 
for that. No, that's what I've been through, but that's against the code. The code? No, can I curse you for that? We were just at the long island. I worked my tail off trying to provide it. And then she told me I had to. No, I don't want to hear it. I gave you birth. I gave you birth. I put you in a home. I told you. 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 I, I you can get the stuff and you can get the stuff. I can't do three days. Give me my money to help me pay off that stuff. I can't do three days. How many years? How, how long have you been on this earth? Mama, that's not the point. How many years have you been on this earth? You called the police and told me. I had to. Because you ain't got to get credit. You had to call the police. You could have filed bankruptcy. Well, you really? I know what you could have did. What you could have did was you could have just paid it back. And paid it back since you made that wrong. Since you made that wrong. Since you that made that wrong with my nephew. You got the law no, baby, let me. You you did that to my nephew you got the law because you weren't following the you ain't following the rules. You're not looking out for him. You're not looking out for him. You know what? Baby, let, you're supposed to be my sister. And I love you, so I'm gonna tell you the truth. I'm going to tell you the truth. And I'm going to tell you the truth, and you know that. and that clip was off the charts. I don't feel clean at all. I feel zestfully dirty. <laughs> the way he kept raising his voice at his mother and putting his hands in her face really bothered me. Again, I know it's a skit. Some things you just don't do. Even in skits. You all know the story about my mother and how my mother did me. I wish I had a mother who loved me, who took care of me, who was there for me who even acknowledged me as her son. And to see people who have that take that for granted and disrespect the woman that did all she could to bring your ungrateful ass into this world really boils my blood. Forgive the noise in the background. The neighborhood kids are running around all crazy. I'm not going to carry on too much. Let me know in the comments. What do you think about this? Who was right? Who was wrong? Should he have called the police on his mother? Should he have filed bankruptcy? Then waited three or four years and then apply for a house loan? I'm going to be candid here before I close. I filed for bankruptcy several years ago. That was before my wife and I bought our first house. When I was applying for a home loan, I had a bunch of debt on there for when I was homeless, for when I was younger. And I was advised that the best way to get rid of it was to file for bankruptcy then wait three years and reapply for an FHA loan. I did that. Nearly four years later, I bought this current house that my family's living in. We've been living here for six years, and now we are selling this house because we just bought an even bigger house to accommodate our growing family. Filing for bankruptcy doesn't necessarily mean that you're broke. Sometimes it's a way of repairing your credit you are still eligible to get a home loan. You just have to wait a couple years after the bankruptcy instead of going in on his mother like that. Again, who did everything she could to raise him and his siblings by herself after their father abandoned her and them. A lot of people don't seem to understand that. The father didn't only abandon you, he abandoned your mother as well and left her to raise you and struggle to raise you alone. The mother should be forgiven. She had to do what she had to do. 
to raise you and give you the life that she did. Filing for bankruptcy is a viable option. A lot of people don't want to do that to fix their credit because of their pride or their ego. Again, I filed for bankruptcy, bought our first home. Now I'm selling it and buying an even bigger home. A five bedroom, three and a half bathroom, 2,900 square feet home. That is two and a half times the price of the first home I bought my wife. Filing for bankruptcy isn't the end of the world. Those are just my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'm going to end this video here. I'm trying to make my videos a little bit shorter, so bear with me. But before I go, you know I gotta shout out my new book, Kang, A Story of Survival. If you enjoy the content and the topics I talk about here in my channel, then you will definitely enjoy this book. It's currently open for pre-order on Amazon.com. So do yourself a favor and pre-order it now. Be one of the first to read my new book in July. But if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and share. All those things help a small growing channel like mine grow faster. And if any of my commentary or any of the clips that were shown in this video triggered you or made you feel some type of way, let me know in the comment section. I really enjoy reading your comments and interacting with y'all. But most of all, know your angry biracial loves you. Stay safe and peace. It's angry biracial.